Morning traders, welcome to the Asia preview and North American wrap from Privateer FX. Let's start with the uh, Aussie and Kiwi, which have had some big moves down over the past week or so. They stayed heavy overnight on the slightly weaker China PMIs, and uh, the Aussie rally failed just below the 200 day moving average. We were discussing that last night. Take a look here at the daily Aussie. It's come in right. Uh, it's coming in right around 77, 77 even. So it looks like it poked its head above and then came back down. Uh, dollar yen had a little sell off just below 113 the figure, and then in early New York we were back up to the 113.50 uh, level. Uh, as far as data, the Canadian GDP monthly GDP number was 0.1 weaker. Dollar CAD actually had a pretty big move, surprisingly large move, but the liquidity there is just awful around economic data points. You can take a look at the uh, dollar CAD hourly. You can see this bar right here was the big up move. It rallied from 128.40 up to 129.15, which as you can see here is now multiple highs on the hourly. So this to me looks like it could be uh, a break trade higher if we can we can uh, take out this 129.20 area. Sterling uh, was slightly strong. Sterling CAD was one of the best performers today. Uh, Sterling was kind of upbeat Brexit news mainly. We're getting up in here. There was also, uh, we highlighted yesterday, the uh, there was going to be good Sterling and Euro month end buying. And you can see here, this is right in the buy, the hour of the of the fix, the WMR fix, where we went from 132.40 up to 132.80 uh, area, which are these old highs. This is big resistance. You know, we closed up here today and it's kind of consolidating the past few hours. So it hasn't really recovered from the demand on the uh, WMR fix. Uh, you know, Euro had a similar move up. Aussie was actually bought into the fix. And, uh, you know, Euro is respecting this old big let's pop over the daily chart of the euro the neckline that we broke last week after the ecb meeting in here this one 1662 area you can see we got up to 61 today so you know this is a this is a big area a big resistance we also have some moving average resistance up at 116.90 so we're keeping a close eye there. Uh, we also had just uh, about half an hour ago, we had the New Zealand jobs data, which came out pretty strong across the board. And you'll see that we went from 68.40 up to the, the highs now. We're trading 68.92. So we've taken out some hourly highs. This is massively oversold. I mean, you can see the strong downtrend. You look at these moving averages. You know, and uh, you know, looks like I can see this testing this uh, 69 even area, the uh, 200 hour moving average. It's definitely due for a bounce. And some of the political um, backdrop is quieted down for now. Um, as far as reversal patterns today, we looked at, uh, let's take a look at the uh, daily charts. So dollar yen, as I said, we, we did breach that 113 straight back up. This is just typical of every dollar yen sell off. It, it tends to bounce from the even number of the 113 handle in this case. Aussie yen, we had a doji, kind of was trying to close higher in the day. This could be time for a pause, which coincides with Aussie probably bottoming for now and dollar yen looking like it wants to trade higher. The euro, uh, the euro, uh, let's take a look here. Here's the euro dollar, nothing much happening there, kind of unchanged, closed unchanged on the day. Dollar Rand had a reversal higher day. Here's the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ made new all time high close, daily high close today, just on a mission, FANG stocks dominating. Uh, and the the um, Australian dollar 
after bottoming last week came up into new high early on in Asia and then reversed and we closed just pretty much on it it's almost an outside reversal lower day so I, I do think that Aussie and Kiwi are due for a bounce but uh, you know this this is kind of a negative looking bar some of the uh, shorter term levels we're looking at take a look here at dollar swiss on the hourly we've had multiple some an old high and some some hourly lows here at this 9938 level uh, we think if we start trading on it here we can get a, a bit of a correction maybe down to 9870 down to these lows and uh, dollar cad we spoke about this 129 15 to 20 level a bunch of highs now up here on the hourlies so this this looks like a break trade above here uh, as far as upcoming data, we have the China manufacturing PMI, and we have uh, some European PMIs, the UK manufacturing PMI. In the U.S., we have ADP bright and early in the morning, the ISM manufacturing, and then FOMC in the New York afternoon, which we're not expecting anything out of that. And uh, Polaz, Bank of Canada's Polaz is speaking again in the, later in the uh, New York afternoon. That should do it for now. Good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best.